Okay, welcome back to day three of the long haul. I uh, made some camera adjustments and moved some stuff around again, but let's get back to this. Uh, first, we wanted to check on our driver, Genevieve, uh, who's running out of my Woodward, Oklahoma shop in her Peterbilt uh, 579 day cab. And it looks like she's uh, on a run from Lubbock, Texas, back to Woodward for... Uh, Nestle and let's see it says she's on duty so I don't know she's making some money uh, let's take a look at the table view here not quite sure how to figure all this out yet but uh, looks like she's made two thousand two hundred fifty eight dollars per day is her average so uh, hey what the heck okay thanks to Genevieve and you can see she's driving this uh, beautiful pink uh, Series 579 uh, day cab, 370 horse. So she's doing a good job. I'll have to upgrade her equipment for her. So, anyway, thanks to her. Now, let's get back to the show. Let's see uh, well, this particular job. Let's take a look at the map. Now, we learned something. Make sure you, when you click on a stop that you click on the stop. <laughs> I guess I clicked on the highway last time and. Uh, it just had me like, hey, you were there, but wasn't going to stop me. So we're in uh, San Simon. Uh, Arizona. Just inside of Arizona. We're going to be going up through Phoenix. We're going to need fuel eventually. But I'm going to try to get us to stop for fuel. Let's take a look at this fuel stop right here. I like easy on, easy off. Okay. Now, I'm gonna put a stop on that on that fuel site. There that, that. Don't wanna stop on the highway. See, I gotta get right there. I hope that's got me where I want to be. That's just let's reset that one more time. I know I'm killing a lot of time here, but I want to make sure I get this right. Okay, hopefully that'll do it. Because that's as close as I can zoom in on that. Let's get back to the job. Get back on the road. I do not want to press enter again, because that will mess you up. I already got my sleep. So I don't need any sleep right now. I want to hit enter. So let's uh, start the rig up. I don't know if I like where let's I move this, this to. Move this to or not. And I'm going to turn off head tracking for this backing up. Which is right here. You know, I think I'm going to put my... I think I'm going to put my dashboard. That was an idea to move it up there closer, but you got to go around the wheel to get to it. Let's uh, put our wheels back on the dash. Look straight ahead. Let's back this puppy up. Making out back up far enough to avoid those uh, barriers. Yeah, we're good. No, just hopefully uh, yeah, I can get out this way. Do not want to do a lot of backing up. That's for sure.
Although I am getting better at it. It seems like it's the worst for me when I'm in a parking lot navigating. <coughs> you know what we're going to do too? Why not? It's not like we're that low, but who's to say? Who's to say that? I mean, never. It only took 67 gallons, but we're full now, and uh, I sure would hate to think that we'd run out somewhere. I hear somebody back there tooting their horn. Just a little patience there, my friend. Oh, okay. Do not want to clip that pump with my trailer, and I am clear. That little sound you hear Do not enter wrong way My GPS says Now if I, I'll tell you what, there's a yellow line there That tells me it's a two way traffic So uh, Let's turn head tracking back on See if we can take a look To the right, okay, wrong way going up that way we're gonna I take it we're supposed to go straight here well okay easy on and off the highway I know I seemed like I was a little confused there but uh But that's my normal state of being, is confusion. Confusion. Mass confusion. On the road again! Just can't wait to get on the road again. 75 mile an hour speed limit. We're doing 52. Let's pick up the pace here. Let's see if we can get a good day going here. We got 1,078 miles. 18 hours to finish. Officers, officers. 1,000 and it's Friday at, whoa, Friday at 2.37 p.m. It's Friday at 2.30, 2.40. Let's call it 2.30. We get to Sunday. We got Saturday and Sunday. Almost 48 hours to complete what says is 18 hours worth of driving. So if we take another break, that adds... 28 hours. Oh, yeah, we got 46 hours. Yeah, we're good. I'm thinking and talking out loud my own silly math. It is uh, worthless. Okay, slow down, Greg. You're speeding now. So we're good on time. We're going to make this job on time. But I guess what I was trying to determine is, is uh, we got over just over. Th I'd like to get at least 500 miles in. I'd like to get it to where we're under 500 miles to go. So. 
so we're going to shoot for a goal of uh, today's drive having a remainder of 500 miles or less. And at least it is 3.10 p.m. Dad, gummit, we just started. So, we got to bed so late, we're starting late in the day again. Let's see what's our money at. 83000 Okay, so if you look at the way it ended, uh, we were not at 80000 I don't believe, when we ended last night and went to bed. So evidently, uh, and we did buy some fuels. So Genevieve has put some money in our bank account. That's for sure. I say keep up the good work. If she does, buy another truck I'll hire another female driver because she is doing a great job right now as it appears to me considering I've just got her in a you know I just wonder if before maybe I'll have enough money to buy another basic truck for a driver and a new driver and get her a, an, a, some upgrades on her truck that would be I really think that Jake break helps. What is going on here? We've got a long way to go and a short time to get there. Everybody wave there. Just seeing where my camera is in relation to where it was pointed. My side view. Hello! Hello! Can't take my eyes off the road for long. Go straight. I really want to 
to get this job done too. Stay left. Because I know one of these days the boys are going to contact me and want to do a convoy. And I don't want to abandon this job because I just hate to think what it would cost to abandon a $100,000 job. There's what I'm delivering. A tractor. Now I gotta ask you a question, a real life question. And maybe this is true in real life. If there's any truckers out there that can answer this, but who pays a driver to deliver a tractor like that a hundred thousand dollars? No, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying the driver didn't deserve it. It's a lot of fuel and a lot of wear and tear on the truck and a lot of time. Tolls, everything up, fuel, tolls, wear and tear on the truck, all this stuff. But, and the guy deserves the right to make a living. I'm not debating that. I'm just debating. Still, would you utilize a truck and pay that much money to deliver a tractor? Unless that tractor is just worth gold. I mean, I don't know. I mean, what's a tractor like that sell for? I don't know. That, those are things that I don't know. So if you know the answers to those things, put them in the comments down below. Stay left. We are way speeding here. See, that's one thing about a regular freight job versus a world of trucking job is a uh, world of trucking limits you to 65 miles an hour and you can see this truck is capable of so much because I did add some horsepower to this truck Okay, if I get in a more congested area, I gotta pay more attention because I've been all over the air road, but I know I can check my mirrors, and if I see there's nobody around me, I know I can kind of distract myself and look at other stuff. And also because it's a simulator. If I was a real truck driver, I'll tell you what I can see now. If there even anything like this at all, I can see now. Oh, where do we pass into? Is that New Mexico? See, I went over on that guy, so I give these guys a lot of credit. They, uh, they got it. They're, they're working. They're working for a living. There's a. I do realize this is just a simulation, but I don't know. And, and, hey, you know, people get a game, they can do whatever they want with it. Go straight. You know, I've seen people watch videos of people taking these things and acting a fool and just running over stuff and doing things, but I don't know. I'm, I'm trying to be as true to life here as possible and make the most amount of money, do the least amount of damage to my rig and uh, play it straight up. Uh, now, of course, I'm not saying that I'm against having any fun, too, though. I did take my plane, an American truck simulator, and uh, taxi it out on the roadways after I left the airport bar and acted a fool one time, and it was fun. So I'm not saying you can't have fun with it and do some silly stuff, but uh, that's just me. I'm trying to play it straight. That does not mean that I won't someday just do something crazy and... Uh, Go on a wild, crazy crashing spree. It's possible. Anything's possible. Mm -hmm. 
Now listen to that under the tu under the in the tunnel. Stay right, then exit right. Okay. Good thing I caught that. I was horsing around. I wasn't paying attention. I almost missed that I was supposed to turn here. But did you notice that horn? Sounded like you're in a tunnel when it's under the tunnel. When you're out of the tunnel, it sounds different. I mean, the writers of this software put the details in. Go straight. I mean, you can see when the sun goes down the different shades and effects on your dash. I mean, all the roads. I mean, I don't know that uh, uh, Bart was saying that when last time I was in Van Horn that a lot of the places that I drove by were really there. I mean, these exits, the speed limits, every inch of this road. I mean, of course, there's areas that are out of bounds that are X'd out. They don't have the whole world in here. But my goodness, close to it, they're adding states. Then exit right. They're adding states constantly. It's an old guy you always worry though you say, I hope I live long enough to see Missouri. Stay left, and then turn left. Because then I would know how accurate it is then. Even the flight sim. Uh, turn left. X Plane 11. It's lacking some things, but it, 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 I mean, when you fly over my town. You can't really see the high school football stadium, which is huge out here, but you sure can see the uh, outline of the football field. They got a generic thing for a football field. It's there in the right place. So the people that do the software do a great job of it. You know, I think my biggest problem now is I got this with this this. The steering wheel and the brakes will not slide on me because this is a sturdy deal for 70 some bucks. I'm telling you, and they had some reviews, people saying it wasn't sturdy. I don't know how they can say that. This thing is sturdy. But now my chair's on wheels and it rolls back if I push on the brakes hard. So, And there's no locks on those wheels. So, yeah, I know you can't please me at all, but still a million times better but this thing uh, you can see it right now look I'm sh shaking it I mean I'm putting some pressure on there and it's not shaking I mean it's, it's wiggling a little bit but that thing's on there good I love this area here we well, can't see that that's where my stream deck is Okay, let the Napa guy get on ahead of me. I don't, of course, there's another one coming. Napa, UPS. Okay, guys, I can play this game. Maybe you guys just don't have the power that the old Kenworth here's got, but tired of dawdling around. I'm just going to get up to speed here and see what happens. And here we go again. Would have been better off staying behind him and staying shaded. Here we go, driving into the sun again. And here we go, speeding. Cruise control is now set. And just as soon as I set that, I find out we are getting off. Stay right, and then exit right. Third. 
30 mile an hour curve here. Jacking around. Just wanted to take a look around while I could. Ugh. What do we got? I see Kingman on there? Kingman, Arizona. Making sure those lights are on. Of course, I'd have been nailed before now. It's 8 12 p.m. Uh, 771 miles, 770 miles. So if we go another 250 miles or so. We'll have hit our. Uh, Five to six hundred mile mark. Stay right, then turn right. You know what? They, uh, okay, that was that stop that I picked, but I'm not gonna stop now. I'm looking at my fuel gauge, and I have got plenty of fuel, and I'm not gonna really rest. I, I did want to test that out though, so it's good. It did show me that stop, and that if I needed to, that would have been a great stop, just right there off the highway. But uh, we're going to consider that mark complete. Because we're not going to go to sleep just yet. At the roundabout, take the first exit. Wait, roundabout, I feel like I'm in... I notice they're putting more and more of those in. They got them here in our area now. Exit down. But, uh, boy, in that European truck simulator, you are in roundabouts constantly. It's a European thing. Well, it did take us to that stop that we put in. That was good, and that's why I had trouble marking it, because it was right off the highway. It was, I mean, it was right on the highway. And I love places like that. Easy in, easy on, easy off, easy on.
but I want to get down to under 500 miles. Okay. Get over and give that guy some room. Let's set the cruise. Just not seeing much of the country at night, but I do got to admit, I'd rather be driving at night when I'm headed west. If we can pay attention here. We got th 39 hours, almost 40 hours to complete this, and we only got 12 hours left. So that tells me that if I take a 10 hour sleep, we'll have 29 hours left. Take off 10 hours of that 39, that makes it 29 hours will remain, and we'll still have, and it'll only be 12 hours out. Took another 10, then it gives they're just on time, which I'd rather be early. What if we had another detour or something like that? Or a accident that holds us up. It ends. We're okay over here. See that wreck I had the other day when I rear-ended somebody. I think if I'd have had that Jake break on, I noticed this thing stops so much better with that Jacobs break on. Time is it? 10:20 p.m. You know what we are going to do? We are going to shut this down the next rest stop. I think we are, because looking at this timetable, I would sure like to get up and do a full day's worth of driving during the daytime. And I think we're okay on time management. Matter of fact, let's take a quick pause here to look at our map. I just want to make sure that's right off the highway and that's only uh, 
That's 57 minutes away, 54 miles. We've got, uh, let's put us right at 600 miles to complete the trip. So I'm digging that. That will work. I just don't like where it's clicking on that. Looks like it's clicking on the highway and not on that. But uh, that's okay. We know to look out for it. And about 57 minutes, 54 miles. Ready to roll. Oh, shit. Okay, what, what happened to my... My map disappeared. I was looking off in the wrong direction. I was already rolling. <laughs> I guess that mouse movement while you're looking at the map is also being registered in the drive. These dark roads are really a son of a gun. So what we're going to be the rest stop It'll be the first rest stop I think we see on the right hand side. Arizona. Yep, Kingman. Go straight. Kingman, Arizona. Made famous in that Route 66 song. I think our rest stop is stay right and then exit right. Yep, it's got that one by it. So it did good. Exit right. It did good. Except I came up short here. What am I doing? Well, there's a line at this light. Trucks and a Jeep. Trucks and a Jeep. Still got 651 miles worth of gas, 136 gallons. And I shouldn't say gas. Fuel. Diesel fuel.
one I'd really like to make this light. That was a long, that was a long ass light. Oh, what was his deal? Stopped and then went. I gotta start running these states as to whether they've got right turn on red or not. It's Friday, eleven fifty-nine p.m., almost midnight. See, here I go again. I won't be getting a start till ten a.m. boys okay where's this rest stop at I don't want to pass it It's showing it right here on the right. See, this always gets me. Well, I don't want to get stuck in anything, but it looks like. It's awful dark over here. Okay, I gotta get off the road. I guess if I have to, I'll back out in the morning. Guess we just park here at the old corn dog place and see what happens. Okay, let's look at some stats. Let's turn off the motor here. It is Saturday, 12.35 a.m. Oh, we've got $83,608, too, so we know uh, Genevieve's been out doing her job. Okay, again, Saturday midnight, let's just call it. And we've got 36 hours left. We're going to have 26 hours left after that, but, uh, yeah, we're not going to have any trouble doing that. So uh, we will get a rest here for now, and uh, I'll go ahead and push that button. Here in a second and we will be starting uh, waking up fresh at uh, about 10.30 a.m. Get going from there. So uh, there you go. Another day down. What is this? Day three? So uh, one more day and we should complete our task and collect our money. Thanks for watching everybody on G. Parker's Arcade Room American Truck Simulator The Long Trip. Take care now.